Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Today in this video you will learn how to create a timeline inside Elementor. So I already have a video about this topic in which we created a timeline. So let me quickly show you the end. In that video you mentioned that that is not responsive for mobile. As you can see here is a comment. It looks nice on PC but it's not responsive on mobile. So I decided to make another video about this topic and uh, in which we will create a very cool timeline with animations and will be totally responsive for mobile so before creating that let me show you a quick demo of that timeline so here as you can see this is the content timeline here you can see the animations the how effects and as you can see we can put our images the title and the text we can also have an icon and text which will we see later in this video so as you can see this is scrolling while scrolling the mouse this will also change the color and so on we can display our dates our icons and obviously the image in the description so this is the first example and this is the second one as you can see we have the icon with the animations and the title and the description we have the step 2 so you can also use these for your steps and this is a different background color than these and also this will change color while we reach to this as you can see it get green color so this was the second example and we have a dual side timeline here so as you can see this will also change the color while we scrolling the mouse so you can create these type of cool timelines inside elementor for free which will which i'll show you later in this video so let me quickly check the responsiveness of this let's go to the mobile view and here as you can see these are totally responsive for the mobile as well let's scroll down as you can see this is also looking good in mobile view also in the tablet view so let's see how we can create these type of timelines inside the elementor free version now for creating these type of timelines we will use a simple free plugin which i am showing you from the last two videos that is a really powerful plugin and have multiple widgets and templates so you can also watch my previous video about that plugin and you can also download that plugin here or if you don't want to download that here then you can simply go to your wordfish dashboard you can go to plugins and click add new and here you can search for that elementor add-on then you will get a number of plugins if you want to be the specific so you can go to download and this is the plugin that we will use for this video and as you can see this is the plugin so you can simply copy its name or you can simply search for elementor add-on and you will get this plugin so just install and activate this and once you activate this then you can skip this trip and here as you can see we have multiple elements that we can use for free you can check or uncheck any of these if you don't want to use any of these so i have enabled all of these and i'll simply click on save changes and now i can use these so let me create a new page and i'll write a title for example for timeline this is just to show you you can use any of your page i'll publish this and we'll edit this page with elementor so as you can see this is a blank page one thing let's go to its settings and we will change the page layout to elementor full width just to hide this title and now we have a blank page i'll create a simple layout here and i'll edit this section and we'll give this some padding like this and now to create the timeline you can simply search for timeline and you will get this eae timeline so just drag that over here and you will get this ready-made timeline now the font size and uh, the font style will be dependent on your theme you can change it according to your need 
now this is a little bit disturbed but we can change the title the icon color the icon background so this is the first skin as i showed you now we can change the skin over here let's choose this one now we will have an image the title and description with these icons and this animations i will also show you the skin 3 which is a one-sided timeline this is the skin 4 and that have this arrow the animation the icon and the background color so you can use any of these let's stick to the skin 1 or the skin 2 and here i'll show you everything that how you can customize now you can change the custom to your post so you can also display your post here for example i want to choose post then i have only one post that is displaying over here but this is just to show you that you can display your post inside the timeline as well now to customize the items so you can go to timeline and this is item one which is this one the two three and so on now in order to change the image the title and description you can go to that specific item and here you can customize everything for example the date here is this one i can change this to 2021 and that's it you can also give this a specific link so if you want to link this to a specific page then you can write your own link for example contact page and this is the title which is this one so let me quickly change this so as you can see our title changed and the same way you can change the description over here i'll not show you this because this is very simple just write your own text and that is how you can customize this now if you go to media then you can choose your image so let's change that very quickly for example i'll use my logo and this is how you can change the image and here you can choose the image size and if you go to style then you can use your own styling for this specific card if i enable this then i can change the title color the text color and the background color so you can simply change these things according to your need as well for example let me quickly change the background color on hover so let's choose the green color now if i hover over mouse here then you can see that then you can see the background color is changing so here you can customize your own colors and this is unfocused so if i scroll over to this specific timeline then this will change the color the text color and so on so this is the default color the hover color the focused and so on so these styling are dependent on you that how you want to style your tape you can en enable and disable this this is the custom image style you can also give this some sizing for example the width the spacing the border radius and so on and this is the style for the icon which is this icon so this is green you can change its color over here for example the primary color to this yellow then this will change it to yellow so here you can customize everything according to your need you can change the background the colors and so on you can also change the typography and you can also go to global icon and which is this one so you can change the icon for both for all of these for example i want another icon then i can simply use another icon let's pick this one or this one and as you can see this has changed you can also change its look for example this is primed which is in circle you can go to staked this will change the color let's go back to the primed and the shape is circle you can make this square so all of these styling is dependent on you that how you want it let's go to style and here you can change the alignment for example to the left side then this will change its look you can also this to the right side and obviously the center this element will be changed on mobile 
or you can set this for both the mobile and tablet and the responsive rotation is also for the mobile and this is the horizontal and vertical spacing this is the card for example you want to, to change the size you can increase and decrease the size as you can see you can also decrease and increase the spacing which is this and this will impact the whole cards for example all of these three this is the alignment it is to the center and uh, this is the title color you can change the color for all of these for example i want to change the color to this one then all of the title will change its color this is the content color which is this title topography if you want to change the font size or the font family you can do that easily now we will change the transform to capitalize like this so this is how you can change the typography and so on now once you are done then you can simply click on update and you can preview this so this is the timeline that we made and again you can check the responsiveness let's go to mobile view and this is completely responsive now the text size is not good but we can change that as i told you you can go to style you can go to typography and content typography and here you can choose the size for mobile view so this is the title we will go to title and now let's make the title little less like this so that is how you can make this responsive for mobile and again you can check all of these options for example you want to customize the date so you can customize the date over here so you can give this some padding margin colors text shadow and so on this is the connector which is this so you can change its colors its colors and focus and so on and this is the icon so you can change the icon color the icon color on hour and focus so you can check all of these options according to your need you can enable disable things this video was just to show you that how you can create a responsive tie line inside the free version of elementor i hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next